Hi everyone, and here's our devotional for Tuesday, February 5th, 2019. Reason number 36, not to fear. God walks beside us when we fear Him. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear Him and keep His commandments and obey His voice. You shall serve Him and hold fast to Him. Deuteronomy 13, 4. Have you ever been tempted to feel sorry for yourself and forget God? After Bob's heart attack, I was at a loss to know what to do. Instead of having a day full of activities, I was trapped in a house with a man to care for, a huge load of responsibility cast upon me. I was lonely, frustrated, and afraid of what the future held. There were many changes that came into my life after Bob's heart attack and brain injury. We moved from Pennsylvania to Arizona to be near my daughter. We were no longer involved in ministry. In fact, we became the ministry as we accepted help and prayers from God's people. Instead of being the teacher, I became the student. Instead of relying upon a strong and very capable man, I had to make all the decisions and do all the work. It was then that I realized that I could only accomplish the task he had given me if I relied on Christ alone. It was not easy. My flesh shrank from it, but I was cast upon God in a way I'd never been before, and as I cried out to Him, I came to understand that He is sufficient. God had taken my beloved Bob and changed the direction of my life. I cannot say I thanked God immediately, but I'm learning to worship Him despite the situations with which I am faced. The fear of God became my rock and my life. The Israelites were warned countless times not to listen, cling to, or worship anyone or anything other than God himself. They were not to listen to any false prophets. They were not to abandon God and his commands. The fear of the Lord was to protect them. Yet they did not obey this command. They wandered away from him, and their sins became worse than those they conquered when they came into the land. He had to discipline them and send them into captivity before they learned to fear God and worship him. If you, as a child of God, live by this verse, be assured your shepherd will protect and cover you, too. He will go before you, walk beside you, and come behind you. He will protect you securely. Even when you cannot see him, he will be there. You never need to fear. Praise God for that. I mean, I can't relate to what she's saying. I can't even imagine that. But, I mean, it just on a very, very, very small scale, um... You know, I was, you know, making, you know, a decent amount of money, you know, and stuff like that. So I pretty much had, you know, all my needs. I mean, it wasn't like huge wealth or anything, just, you know, enough to get by and, you know, just get things that I wanted and needed and whatever. But, you know, after we got married and our finances changed, we we rely on God, you know, to, to really help us and take care of us. And, you know, where it says, you know... Where she became, where she was the the minister, she was the one being ministered to after after Bob's accident and everything, and um, that was earlier on in the devotional, and it was, oh, it was pretty bad, but anyway, yeah. So it's like that's more reason that we need to depend on God, right? You know, I need to just depend on Jesus every day to keep, you know, providing for our needs and providing for you know just the health needs that we have and. You know, all that stuff. I need to just keep trusting in God, you know, where I'm not able to do it. He is able. And that's so awesome. Praise God. So, may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow. Stop.